Well, it's the return of What's Happening Halton for 2023, and I'm very happy to be joined by Amber Rohal, the founder of ActiveParents.ca. And Amber, you know, I have heard your name and this website mentioned so many times since I started working here, but for those who've been living under a rock, a virtual rock in this case, tell me about ActiveParents.ca. Hi, thanks for having me. Uh, Active Parents started in about 2016, and we started up out of the basic need for parents trying to find great things to do with their kids locally, but it can be a lot of time and energy spent searching the internet and going through Facebook and events and all those things. So we thought we would help parents out and put it all in one spot. So every week we curate a full list of things for families to do, and we share it with everyone. So for these segments that we're doing, we're going to take some of the highlights, maybe some of the hidden gems that are happening that people don't know about. And you've picked a few today. And I got to say, I think you might be starting with parents getting a little angry with you because you're (laughs) encouraging children to be drummers in your very first activity. That's it. Tell me about it. But we're going to do it outdoors at a park. And Bandology is putting on a bucket drumming workshop Saturday afternoon at Bronte Heritage Waterfront Park. It's a beautiful location. They bring all the buckets, they bring the drumsticks, and they encourage kids just to have fun and make noise, and they do it all outdoors, not under your roof. (laughs) And they they don't bring the drums home, right? No home drums. Absolutely not. (laughs) All right. Well, that's okay. So you've, you've made amends there. That's okay then. Get it all out when they're outside. Tire them out before you bring them home. Uh, the second event that we have going on, you know, kids and crafts definitely go hand in hand. The next activity, though, starts inside, but then ultimately ends up in nature. It does. So if kids want to pop by Michael's, they can paint a garden rock. So you can paint it any way you like. Michael's provides all of the materials you meet in their activity room and you can be inspired. They've got all the decorations and the paint and the rocks. Kids just show up and make a masterpiece and they can take it home and put it in their own garden or give it to grandma or grandpa or drop it off at their school garden. Yeah, this is great because you do get a little keepsake to go home with and can even get into gardening with the kids and all of that. And let me tell you, a rock garden is a lot easier to take care of than an actual garden that it requires maintenance. My garden looks like a rock garden, even though I'm trying to grow things. So (laughs) whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, it's going to end up that way. All right. And finally, to round things out for our very first one of these, everybody's hyped up about the live action reboot of Disney's The Little Mermaid. But can you tell us here in Halton how we can be part of that world, dare I say? Oh, you got me there. So if you drop into any Toys R Us store this weekend, they've got Mermaid Tail bookmark making workshops happening. So you drop in, they'll provide you with all the materials and you'll go home with your very own mermaid bookmark. Perfect time to celebrate the movie. You bet. Well, this is fantastic. A whole bunch of interactivity going on, little stops around the region where you can take the kids out to. We're going to do this every week, Amber. Really appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. No problem. Have fun this weekend.